Did you know that you can install a beautiful backyard patio using interlocking paving stones? And you can do it all by yourself in just nine simple steps. Stay tuned to The Home Designer because over the next 30 minutes, we're going to show you how to add both charm and value to your home. Hi everybody, I'm Scott Stanford, along with my co-host Cheryl Mathis, where for the next 30 minutes, Cheryl and I are going to show you how you can add not only beauty, but also value to your home. And you can do it all by yourself in just nine simple steps with Cambridge Interlocking Paving Stones. That's right, Scott. Just take a look at some of these beautiful patios, walkways, driveways, and pool decks done with the proven Cambridge Paving Stones Interlocking System. The home designer is geared towards showing you folks at home, step-by-step, -step, do it yourself projects. During the course of today's program, we'll show you how to install a beautiful, durable patio using Cambridge interlocking paving stones. And we'll also show you where your authorized Cambridge paving stone distributor is located so you can purchase all of the materials you need to complete your project. Should you prefer to have your paving stones installed for you, your authorized Cambridge distributor can also provide qualified contractors to install your project. Yeah, and Cheryl, unlike asphalt, durable Cambridge paving stones are maintenance-free with no messy sealers. And unlike concrete, they won't crack, which will save you both time and money. That's all thanks to the added lifetime protection of ArmorTech. Joining us today just to make sure we're doing it all right is Bob Bridges from the good folks at Cambridge Pavers. Bob happens to be an expert at paving stone installation. Well, Bob, we have just seen beautiful backyard patios, even driveways and swimming pool decks done with the Cambridge interlocking paving stones. They always look just gorgeous. That's right, Cheryl. They are beautiful. Cambridge paving stones are twice as strong as poured concrete sidewalks. They also come with a lifetime warranty. Wow. Wait a, minute, a lifetime warranty? How is it that they're so durable that you can offer a lifetime warranty? There's one word, ArmorTech. The use of paving stones have been used in sidewalks, city streets, and driveways that began over 60 years ago in Europe. Cambridge's exclusive ArmorTech formula adds a super dense, top layer of cement, fine sand granules, and increased color saturation to each Cambridge paving stone. This phenomenal 3 8 inch layer preserves the paver's color intensity and increased smooth surface forever. Cambridge paving stones are manufactured in accordance with strict regulatory guidelines, meaning strength, absorption, freeze-thaw cycles, and even slip resistance requirements. And Bob, you were telling us that Cambridge paving stones with Armatech are more durable than poured concrete, asphalt, brick, and stamped or stenciled concrete. Cambridge paving stones can be used to satisfy any paving application. All right then, you know, it seems these Cambridge people really have this paving stone business down to a science. And we're going to get started right after this. Patios and driveways of interlocking paving stones are better than asphalt or concrete. But you must insist on Cambridge paving stones with the ArmorTech surface. In a short time, pavers without ArmorTech look like this, as small stones within are revealed on the surface. With ArmorTech only from Cambridge, pavers look like new forever. Cambridge paving stones with ArmorTech, they'll always look like new. Well, before we get to the first of our nine easy steps, let's talk equipment and what you'll need to get this job done. As you can see, we've laid out all the necessary equipment you'll need to properly install your Cambridge paving stones, and it's really not all that much. First, you'll need a pair of gloves and safety glasses, dust masks, chalk line, stakes, a spade and some shovels, a masonry saw, a plate compactor, one 8 to 10 foot 2 by 4 and two 8 feet 1 and a half inch OD PVC pipes, a masonry string, a tape measure, line level, fan snips, spray paint, soapstone or chalk will do, a flat mason trowel, a mini sledgehammer, a push broom, gravel rake, a hose with sprayer and a wheelbarrow, well, now that we have all of our necessary equipment and materials for our new backyard patio, why don't we get the show on the road? Scott, there's something we need to do first. 
Do you know what that is? Well, yeah, Bob, I kind of know where you're going with this one. And as you can see, we've already contacted all the local utilities and the cable company to uh, come out and mark off where the underground cables are located. And they'll be happy to do this. And it's free of charge. Step one, preparation. The first thing you need to do is to sketch out a diagram of the area that needs to be paved. And Bob, I already took the liberty of sketching out a freeform patio project. That's a great looking drawing. You know, Scott, with Cambridge's Designscape brochures, you have the ability to design serpentine walkways, round patios, rectangular patios, as well as circular patios. The creativity is endless. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we go find Cheryl and get ready to set some stakes. Scott's setting the spike for the corner as Cheryl lays out a tape measure so we can establish an accurate 90 degree corner. In doing so, you simply pull a tape measure off the house and another tape measure against the house. You take your third tape measure and line up your tape measure three foot off of the stake, then four foot off of the tape measure that comes off the house to make sure you have a five foot point that marks up to what they call a three, four, five corner. That would allow for 90 degrees off the house. Now that we've established a 90 degree corner, we want to put a string line over the stake Scott put in earlier. We're going to pull the string line away from the house to establish the finished edge of our patio. Scott's going to drive a stake in this area right here, and we're going to leave this string line on for the duration of the project. Well, while Scott's setting the stakes, Bob, can paving stones be installed anywhere instead of asphalt or poured concrete? Absolutely, Cheryl. Paving stones are used in airport taxiways, downtown city streets, as well as your own driveway. Hey, Bob, I think we're ready to lay out the rest of this patio. OK, Scott and Cheryl, now that we've laid out the patio area, what we want to do is make sure that we have positive drainage away from the foundation. A good rule of thumb when installing the paving stones, proper pitch away from the house is one inch of pitch for every eight foot of run. That will allow the water to run off the system. With Cambridge's paving stones, if they're installed properly, they will not absorb water through the system. So with the pitch, we can set the string line on the staked area. And once again, we go back to every eight foot, you want one inch of drop. So across 20 feet, which we have here on this patio, we need to be down two and a half inches. This top line is level, and we've established that level with this little line level that you can buy at any local supply yard. Now that we've established the proper pitch of our patio project away from the foundation of the house, we're going to want to repeat the same process on the other side of the patio area. Once we've completed that step, Scott, we're going to be able to take this bottom line and recognize that as the finished height of our patio area. Now that we've completed our string lines, it's time to mark the perimeter of our patio project with spray paint, like this, along the string line. This gets us ready for our next step, excavation. Well, that was great, guys. You know, that's all for step one, and that wasn't so bad. Yeah, no, it only took about an hour. And Bob, let me ask you a question. We just set the pitch and the slope for our patio. So when it rains, that water is going to come down and flow right off our Cambridge paving stones? That's right, Scott. Cambridge's paving stones, when pitched properly, the product itself will absorb less than 5% water through the joints as well as the top surface. Wow. You can throw de-icing agents on top of the Cambridge pavers and not have spalling and cracking, which you would have a normal poured-in-place concrete. As well, that chamfered edge is designed for easy snow removal with a snow plow or a snow shovel, and you won't catch the edges like you would normal with normal clay bricks. That's amazing. Now, our next step is excavation, but do you need to excavate in all cases?